Hi there, what is up? Today we're talking about living in Winter Park, Florida and we're starting right now. Hi, I'm Kathy Williams with HomeVest Realty in Orlando, Florida. And if you are interested in all things real estate and the Florida lifestyle, then you might wanna to subscribe to my channel and that way you won't miss out on any upcoming videos. So let's just dive right in. Today we are talking about living in Winter Park, Florida. I love Winter Park. It is such a beautiful area. The brick lined streets, uh, it's just the oak canopy of trees. I mean, you just, you just can't get any better than that. It gives you that real Southern Florida lifestyle. Winter Park is arguably the most beautiful suburb in um, the Orlando area. The historical beauty of it, the brick lined streets, there's just so much there to offer. And I love the shops on Park Avenue and the restaurants. One of my favorites is Prato. Uh, it's an Italian restaurant. And if you like meatballs, that is an awesome, awesome restaurant to try for sure. Um, the, the, another thing that I love about Park Avenue is some of the cute shops and spending time just walking down, people watching. I love to grab just like a cup of coffee and just sit and watch people walk around. There's a cute little um, Turkish restaurant called Bosphorus. They have great food and I love their Turkish coffee. So it's just something unique and different that you don't get everywhere. Uh, also, I love the Winter Park Christmas Parade. They have so many cute kids that participate. I mean, there's people of all ages, there's political figures, and it's just a lot of fun. There's some really great family vibes going on there, and you can have a pancake breakfast. Uh, there's just a really a lot to do. Homes in the Park Avenue area are gonna be pretty much luxury homes. Everything from 800,000 for a two bedroom, two bath condo, up to five, six, 10 million for a luxury home. Also, right by Park Avenue is Rollins College, and they have a beautiful campus. I love to just walk through the campus. There's a lake there. It's a really wonderful school, and there's a lot of traffic from the kids that come over to Park Avenue, which is great. So I love the farmer's market in Winter Park. It was started back in the 70s, and um, I, don't, I feel like maybe there might have been some more incense back then and more tie-dye kind of thing. But right now, what you'll find is great flowers, produce. I get fresh fish there, it's delicious. I love the fish um, at the Winter Park Farmer's Market. And uh, there's just a great collection of fun ideas for gifts. There's flowers like orchids and little gift ideas that you can pick up. There's a great place to eat inside where you can just grab a sandwich or a bagel, fresh baked bread, cheeses. We got empanadas there. They were delicious. So really fun, fun, fun thing to do on a Saturday morning. It's open from about 7 a.m. till about 2 p.m. in the afternoon. So definitely check that out. Then around the corner is another shopping area called Hannibal Square. Again, a brick lined street, really cute with shops and restaurants, nice place. I love to eat at the Coop. It's Southern comfort food, fried chicken and um, mashed potatoes and gravy and meatloaf and just all those yummy Southern comfort foods. I don't go there too often though, just because, you know, can't take too much of that comfort. Um, then I also wanted to let you know about another shopping center that's about a mile from there called Winter Park Village. And there are some great, again, restaurants. There's a theater there that I love to go to and it's got some uh, great movie theaters. It's got those big, big leather seats in it that you can just kind of chill out on and relax. And I love those. Um, there's a Pier 1 Imports, there's Loft, there's White House Black Market, there's Cheesecake Factory, REI, there's a bunch more I'm probably not even remembering, but it's a nice little shopping area. And if you drive out from there, you hit kind of the main road, um, which is called 1792, and there's really good, um, and more restaurants and more of the big box types of stores, like, you know, your Marshalls, TJ Maxx. Um, I personally love um, Trader Joe's. It's right there on the corner, and it's a great place to shop. So there's options all around there. And um, once you move out into that area, the home prices um, get a little lower than when you're right next to Park Avenue. Um, there's just some 
you know, options that open up to you. Condos that may be in the 150s to 200s and homes that would be in the threes to 400s, maybe fives and sixes. Winter Park does have some beautiful neighborhoods, lots of brick lined streets with canopy of oak trees around it. Just some beautiful, beautiful areas. And you will find a lot of variety in home prices in there, anywhere from five, 600,000 up to several million dollars. So there's a lot of variety there um, in homes and just beautiful. Also in Winter Park, there's some great parks and I love uh, Craft Azalea Park. There's a beautiful lake right there. It's actually part of a chain of lakes. And I love the boating opportunities that are there. There's boating, fishing, jet skiing. I like to paddleboard. There's just some beautiful opportunities just to be out on the water and enjoy the beautiful weather that we have here. Some incredible things to do. And I'm sure that you would enjoy that too. But that's part of the beauty of living in Winter Park is just having that just nice setting and lakes everywhere that you can enjoy. Now we are going to talk about some new construction in Winter Park because that is available. There's a neighborhood about 15 minutes from Park Avenue and it's still in Winter Park. It's called Hawkscrest and there are some new construction homes out in that area and it's a planned community. I believe it is going to be gated and there are some trees, some mature trees that they've left behind and also you know there'll be some new landscaping and planting going on. Most of the homes are two-story but there are some one stories available. So we're going to do a little tour of one of the one story homes. It starts at about 550,000. I am going to bring you in through the backyard because I love the backyard and the entry into the family room. The family room and living room is just an open plan concept. So pretty. The cabinets are gorgeous and I love the color of the cabinets. I'm sure you have options when you go there to their showroom. You can probably pick out several different options for your cabinets, but I just really love the soft close feature that these cabinets have, double oven, a big island in the middle. The flooring is gorgeous. It's a tile that looks like wood and um, there's a spacious area behind it for living and dining, formal, more of a formal, I guess, living and dining, or you could make it an office space. Then as you go into the master bedroom, the master bedroom is quite spacious and um, there's a really nice view of the backyard. There is room to put a pool in the backyard if you like a pool. And um, the bathroom is nice and large and has beautiful finishes. I love the finishes in the bathroom and the closet is nice and big. There's extra closet space in there. Then there are three other bedrooms and two other baths in this home. So it's got a lot uh, going for it. It's obviously ready to move in. And if you are interested in any homes at Hawkscrest, please just let me know and I'll be happy to connect you with um, the builder there. And I would be happy to represent you to navigate that process as well. I don't want to be remiss in letting you know that there are new construction home options available that aren't in a planned community. For example, back in the neighborhoods with the brick line streets, there are homes that unfortunately they're beyond repair and a builder would come in and perhaps decide to buy that and knock it down and build a new home there. There are homes on the lakes, there are homes in subdivisions that are also on these charming brick line streets that you can find new construction, more than likely starting in the seven to eight hundreds and up. But there are available new construction homes in Winter Park. Otherwise, most of the homes are older, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, older homes that you can find there. But that's the charm of these older neighborhoods. Winter Park is more convenient to downtown. It's the most convenient suburb. It is about 15 minutes to downtown Orlando. It's very centrally located, so you can get to all different parts of Orlando from Winter Park really easily. There's everything you want there. There's hospital, there's shopping, there's doctors. Yeah, it's pretty much anything that you would need is right there in Winter Park. Great community to live in. If you have any other questions about Winter Park, I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. And uh, if you would like more information about 
the Orlando area. Certainly I can help you with that as well. Please consider subscribing to my channel and I have upcoming videos about other suburbs of Orlando. Coming up next is going to be Winter Garden. So please follow, subscribe, like, comment on my channel and I'll be happy to um, respond to you as quickly as I can. Have a great day. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye now.